Hello to all you amazing parents out there, JP Mitchell here, back today for another video. This is going to be on my autism recovery story, and what the message is for you parents out there that you should know from my character. So, excuse me, so my story officially begins in 2003-2004 when I was approximately 3 to 4, three to four years old. And this is where I stopped being in my parents' world and suddenly retreated into my own, which is the world of autism, which is where I had zero language, no eye contact, no communication, no kids play, which is where I couldn't play with other kids. Um, I had no social interactions with other people. I couldn't look someone in the eye. I couldn't have any interactions with anybody. I was bullied relentlessly in school because of, you know, because of me being autistic and being an easy target as they called it. So, what the therapy was in the very beginning was teach me how to request, how to speak, how to talk, how to communicate. And all that therapy led up to me meeting the diagnostic criteria for the diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder. And once that was occurred, then my psychologist who followed me around Journey Middle School and, and Edward Milne and, and, and Edward Milne Community School did, did interviews with my teachers and said, this is the history that J.P. Mitchell was born with, this is what he has, this is what he needs help to overcome, and all that good stuff. So my diagnosis that I got, it followed me around everywhere during middle school, until finally, it was starting to go away with the extra therapy at home here, with the extra therapy in Lankford, B.C., you know, all that extra therapy is what led to me speaking in full sentences in EMCS, like saying uh, full sentences, speaking, talking, having full eye contact, looking somebody in the eye, speaking to them, having a normal conversation with them, not walking away from a conversation, standing up to bullies and in Edward Milne Community School, which was good for me. And you see the before footage of me when I was autistic, when I had no language, no communication, no eye contact, no playing with kids, no, no social interactions with Mitch and Peggy, none of those skills that I had back then. And you see the after footage where... I'm no longer autistic. I'm out of that world completely. I'm no longer in the world of isolation anymore. I'm no longer in that world where I have the diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder because I no longer met the diagnostic criteria for an autism spectrum disorder when I was at the age of uh, 20 years old. Because at that point, my symptoms, my details were all cleaned up. I recovered from autism at the age of 18, so that was all good and all. And now, here I am at the age of 24. I'm a Mitchell on a mission, ready, ready to take on this world of autism. Now, this is the most important message for all you parents out there, is that if you don't have insurance... To cover for the funding, what you can do is, is you can get a social worker. It doesn't cost you anything to have a social worker, but you can get a social worker until you're able to receive the funding that you need. And what you can do is that if you families out there who have kids with autism are put on a long waiting list, what you can do is you can sign up with Sunrise training course called Startup. The Sunrise program training course known as Startup. That's where you walk your child through therapy. That's where you help them speak, how to help them talk and all that stuff. So when you do that, that allows you to 
recover your child from autism at home. So instead of getting therapy and treatment, the Sunrise home-based program called Startup Training Course is the therapy, is the treatment that will recover your son or your daughter from autism at home without any treatment or therapy required. So there is a little bit of, you know, government help out there, like the ministry and, you know, all these other agencies that you that you parents can contact. But if you want some uh, information on what to do, just go on my Gmail at jpmitchell autismrecovery.com and I will leave you some comments, leave you some suggestions, leave you some information on what you can do to help your son, to help your daughter emerge from autism. And I will be coming out there into Souk and into the public to talk with some of you parents to find out what techniques did you guys use? What um, treatments did you use? What diets did you use? What therapy worked for your child to help them emerge from autism? And what are they doing in the world right now? What goals and what, what life are they leading today? So that's all I have to say about that topic. And let's get this going, guys. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. Let's do it.